actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, wow, toilets are dangerous, eight. Set in the house built on sand map of Marrakesh, and the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it, and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of EMZ Hitgal. So moving on to our briefing, who'd have thought toilets were so deadly? Help these people find out why 47. I hope you enjoy it. So moving on to our targets and today we have five of them. All must be eliminated via a drowning although we can wear any disguise we see fit. So for today's challenge we'll be starting at the default location. We're going to have an enigmatic gas, uh, grenade stored up on the rooftops and we'll be bringing with us a remote enigmatic gas grenade in a briefcase, an enigmatic gas grenade and our Seeker 1. So right from the start and off the bat we may as well just immediately remove our gas grenade from the briefcase and return it to the briefcase as most of the people around us are not real. So with that taken care of we're next going to make our way straight to the rooftops and retrieve our gas uh, grenade. That way we will be fully armed and ready for the mission ahead. So as long as there's no one here we're able to just drop our briefcase, climb up onto the roof and we can then retrieve our gas grenade from a second briefcase. And if we are quick and lucky we can make it all the way back down and retrieve our gas grenade briefcase before anyone comes along and claims it. So there we go. So with all of that done we can now move on to our targets and all of our targets are located in the Shisha Cafe so we're gonna head down the side here and as long as the waiter isn't looking which he isn't we can hop over the edge grab the invitation and show said invitation to the guard on the VIP area. So we have three targets in the members only area and two outside. So the plan is we're going to go in to the members only area, eliminate one target, move outside, eliminate one target and reverse and repeat until we run out of targets. So we're going to make our way straight into the bathroom, pull out our Seeker 1 and just get a shot lined up with our first target who is out in the public area there. They're going to get sick once we've shot them and they will make their way to the bathroom and we're just going to give them a nice wide berth until they get in there and once they're inside we can follow them in close the doors behind them and then reintroduce them to their what I would assume would be lunch or supper. So one target taken care of now we do need that body discovered uh, unfortunately I'm under the impression that someone's gonna go into that bathroom and discover the body it turns out on this particular map no one does so while we're waiting to find out that the body isn't being discovered we're going to make our way outside of the VIP area. We're going to select our gas grenade detonator, move up to the young couple sitting here and trigger our gas grenade in the young lady's face. She will get sick and make her way to the bathroom and we can then reintroduce her to whatever it is that she has had for dinner. 
So with the beauty of this bathroom, the second we leave, her body will be immediately discovered by someone. I have no idea who. Uh, it always seems to be the case. So we don't have to worry about that one being cleaned up. So we're going to make our way now back into the VIP area and we're going to prepare to take out our next target until we realize that target number one is growing moldy right here. So we're going to open the bathroom door for our briefcase just beyond the threshold and that should attract someone's attention, which it has done. And uh, we're just going to open the door when they get close so that they definitely see the body. And then we'll move away a safe distance and we will wait the inevitable panic and clean up to happen. So while we're doing that and we are secluded, we can actually get our next seeker one shot ready. And there is our next intended target. As you can see, there is a lady between us and him so we firstly don't want don't want to be spotted by the young lady and secondly don't want to miss our shot and make the young lady sick so luckily once everybody has removed themselves we are free and clear to shoot our target they will get sick and they will go into the now vacant bathroom and we can then casually follow them inside close the door behind us there we go and reintroduce them to a bevy of cocktails i will assume so that is three targets taken care of so sticking with the plan we are going to make our way back outside but this time round, we're going to attract someone's attention to the bathroom before we leave. Uh, if we can actually get anyone. No, the big bad boss is here. I wonder if we open that door. Will that work? Hopefully that has worked. And we can now make our way outside to the young gentleman who is all alone out here now without his lady friend. So what we're going to do to get this guy is we're going to make our way into the bathroom. We're going to select a gas grenade. Either one will do. And we want to aim to throw it just at the coffee table in front of our target. About there will be ideal. We're going to move away a safe distance so that no one suspects it was us. That will make our target sick. He will come into the bathroom where we were hiding and we can then follow him back inside and we can then reintroduce him to what I can assume is only now some very very nasty smelling water. So four targets dealt with, one more to go and we need to make our way one last time into the VIP area and our final target is currently hidden away somewhere uh, they will eventually return and it looks like our friend here has not been cleaned up that's not good and we've missed the door again so open the door throw the briefcase throw the briefcase well done 47 collect the briefcase hope we've attracted someone's attention which it looks like this time possibly yes we have that actually works in our favor because that's the guard next to our target who is also a guard so we're just going to wait for our primary target who is not on our agenda today to finish up at the wash basin there uh, the guard will be removing the body away shortly and when we are ready we are going to select our final gas grenade we're going to make our way into the bathroom antechamber area once the body has been removed, which it is now being done. And once in there, we can line up a shot for our final target. So I'm just going to give everyone plenty of time to get a nice safe distance. We're going to make our way into the ante room, right into the corner here. And from here, we should be able to get a good shot at our target's feet with the gas grenade. 
he will eventually get sick he will make his way to the bathroom notice how he doesn't have to radio that in they always radio everything else in but not when they're physically feeling sick and abandoning their post so once he makes it into the toilet toilet cubicle we can once again follow them in close the door behind them and reintroduce them to what I assume in this case will be a very fastly eaten sandwich during their lunch break so with all of our targets now taken care of all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape and the nearest available safe exit will probably be in the old town section we're gonna go for the secret exit over by the school as there are less people to dodge this way so we're gonna quickly grab up the crowbar by the shopkeeper and then let ourselves out of Marrakesh so there we go one more trending contract taken care of and we have confirmation all of our targets were eliminated according to plan and we get our silent assassin rating I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video